Hey, what's going on everybody? Reactaholic here. Today we're going to be looking over some Shout Factory titles that if you don't already own, you should go ahead and get on that ASAP. <laughs> ASAP. Um, so I don't even know if this has a slipcover anymore. I would be shocked if it did, but um, the Return of the Living Dead 4K is probably the best Shout Factory release ever. It's a three disc set. Um, I don't think it has any reversible artwork, yeah. It's a three disc set, it comes with your 4K, stand, like just standard, just the 4K with all the setups. Natural Shout Factory fashion, we got discs falling out, but the Blu-ray disc, 4K scan, I believe. I believe it is a Blu-ray 4K scan. Um, and then you got the special features disc, which is all just, I don't believe any of it's new, but I know there's a lot on this disc, pretty much, I guess is what I'm trying to say. There's a lot of special features here that you should not miss out on. Um, this release is beautiful and I highly recommend it. Number two on the list is Army of Darkness, uh, the 4K Steelbook. Now, Army of Darkness is my favorite, or Evil Dead is my favorite franchise, so when I heard about this one, this was this was actually probably one of my first Shout Factory uh, grabs, just simply based off of the fact that it's Evil Dead, and I love Evil Dead. Now, the Evil Dead remake is not on this list, but um, if you're a completionist, you to have to have it so I mean you might as well if you buy those you might as well throw that one on your list as well as well as Evil Dead Rise but that's not on the Shout Factory label but I mean just look at this artwork I think this is my favorite artwork out of all the artworks I think this one even beats the um, uh, They Live Steelbook it's so freaking dope all right, next up is a newer release from Shout Factory. It is the Blob 4K. Now, if you guys are wondering why I'm pulling out so many 4Ks, because I literally have almost no Blu-rays at all um, for Shout Factory, because I just started collecting Shout Factory like last year, um, like during Christmas time, the video, the what I got for Christmas video type beat. But the Blob is a fantastic movie another one that i kind of was like kind of held out on because i was like i don't know if this one's gonna be good either it looks okay you know the artwork looks better than what i feel like the movie will be then i watched the movie and i was like wow i need to just stop uh thinking shout back to you put out something bad then they go and they put out night of the comet right after that so <laughs> You know, Shop Factory is confusing about that kind of stuff. Um, next up, this is a another as a another remake film, uh, Dawn of the Dead. Um, I always forget how good Dawn of the Dead is. Um, the remake, I always forget how good it is um, until after I watch it again. And this movie is so fantastic no new special features but there's already a thousand special features for it and if you didn't have the blu-ray you might as well get the uh the 4k you know they might as well go ahead and grab it um and shout factory kind of puts out these lame releases now i understand but this 4k is actually beautiful like uh it just makes the movie even better to be honest, I like it. It makes me realize that 4K with like the newer films could actually work, you know. So, but I don't typically go for like 2010 4Ks, you know, 2010 4Ks or whatever, whenever that came out. I think it was like 2016 or 2013 or something. 2004. <laughs> okay, we were way off. Um, this next one, and I picked this one in general because I think it's better than the first one. I think it's way better than the third one. 
and I think that is way better than the remake. It is Night of the Demons 2. This one is, like, this, the reason why I didn't watch these sooner is simply because of this back here. Like, I hate this artwork they put on the back of just, like, a still shot or something. And it kind of keeps me from wanting to watch it. Um, but, I mean, when I put this in, I was like, alright, let's see what wackiness we're in for. And this one actually, in my opinion, blew the first one away. This one was so good, dude. I mean, I love the cheesiness and the little, like, nun suit-up scene that they do with, like, the Batman type beat. And it does look really good as well. And I just highly recommend Demons 2 over Demons 1 or Demons 3. So, uh, I guess that's a good thing about bo uh, not doing box sets for these releases. Is that you get the option to pick and choose which ones you want. Um, which is really cool. But they could still do like what Vinegar Syndrome did and release them separately, but release the box separately as well. In case you decide you want the box later. I don't know. I mean, that's a good idea, though. That's a good idea. Um, next on the list is They Live, the 4K Steelbook. Now, this is my second favorite in terms of artwork. And just in terms of the film in itself. I mean, there are certain scenes that draw on a little bit too long for my liking, but... I mean, this is just, this is how it's done right here, um, as far as a 4K goes. This is, this has to have the best quality out of a lot of the 4Ks in this selection, except for Return of the Living Dead, because that one was really good. Alright, next one on the list, this one's had problems, and I, I keep talking about wanting to make a video on it, but I don't know. It's The Exorcist 3. It is... Um, the, the movie itself and the quality is really good and all that. It's just getting it is the hard part. So, like, this thing goes in and out of stock so much. Uh, and, like, at a quick rate, too. Like, if you, if it goes, it's like the PS5 on launch with this movie. You know, the people are already putting it on for scalper prices, and they're not even done putting out copies yet. It makes no sense, and, but I still... If you can get your hands on it, still do it. It's it's a good release. It's a worth it release to have in the collection. And last on the list, as you can tell, Creep Show, man. And it's like, and all of these films are really good. It's just picking which one is the best is the problem. Um, but Creep Show is fantastic, and I highly recommend getting it with this artwork. It's so different, man. I love it. I love the fact that the artwork isn't just still image on the back like a lot of these other ones are. It's actually got like cool artwork to it. So if you can get your hands on this, I highly recommend it. Um, but with that being said, that's going to do it for movies I want you to own on Shout Factory Edition. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.